I'm Mark Bailey, Head of Development at The Genealogist, and in today's video we'll be talking about tithe records. Historically, a tithe was where you gave a tenth of your produce to support the local church and clergy, and this had been going on for centuries. After the dissolution of the monasteries in the 16th century, much of the tithable land was redistributed from the church into lay ownership. This was usually the incumbent vicar, who also gained rights to receive these tithe payments. In 1836, the government introduced the Tithe Commutation Act, converting the payment of tithes in kind into a monetary tithe rent. This resulted in a very comprehensive survey covering the ownership, usage and occupancy of land in England and Wales. These records are great for us genealogists because they have nationwide coverage years before the first usable census. They include almost 12,000 parishes that have been apportioned and mapped, though a small number of parishes that were enclosed before this time were not included. Tithe records covered both sides of society, from the landowning aristocracy to your lowly tenant farmers, because the survey recorded the landowner and also the occupier for every parcel of land. The survey also recorded the usage of the land, so you could tell if your ancestor was a wheat farmer, had an orchard, or perhaps a small holding to supplement their income. These records are linked to beautifully illustrated maps showing you every parcel of land, but you can also zoom out and see a detailed picture of the whole parish. They're fully interactive, so you can click on any parcel of land and see who was a landowner, who was the occupier, and click to view more details. And we've geo-referenced these maps, which means you can see exactly where your ancestral home is today. Now let's take a look at an example. In Master Search, I'll pick the landowner and occupier record set, then enter James Whitehead Perry. James occupied property and land in Chessington, which I'll use as a keyword. This brings back over 30 results. For each result, you can view the transcript, the original image, the map, and you also have the option to save the record. Let's start by viewing the original image for one of these records. Here we can see that James rented all of this land and property from Henry Gosser Squire. The total came to 202 acres, with 43 pounds and 19 shillings tithe rent to pay. We can zoom in and see that plot 199 is listed as Burnt Stubbs Farm, described as house, buildings, lawn and co at 2 acres, 1 rod and 27 perches. If we go back and now click the map icon, this brings up Map Explorer and you can zoom in and see all of the detail in these maps. Let's change the transparency. This shows the historic map layer and we can change the period of the map shown from the 1890s all the way up to the 1960s. This is a great feature that allows us to travel through time and see how an area changed. Finally, we can change the transparency on this layer too revealing a modern day map underneath. And as you can see, Burn Stubbs Farm is now the home of Chessington World of Adventures. As a bonus, you can also change the modern map to a satellite view to really get an idea of what the location is like today. If you'd like to find out more about tithe records or try out a free search, visit thegenealogist.co.uk slash tithe. If you'd like to find out more about Map Explorer, visit thegenealogist.co.uk slash maps. Both of those links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, please consider liking or subscribing. You can also find more videos in our record set or tutorial playlists.